Welcome, Utah Supply Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a version of a brassy. I call it the fancy brassy. It's got a rib to it, peacock cr collar, black head. Brassy's a old pattern. Well, not that old compared to some other patterns, but it's a pretty old one. Um, I like tying my uh, fancy brassies on uh, on curve shanked hooks. Uh, pretty good. Um, now I'm using a wire. Uh, for this one, I'm using uh, I'm gonna tie a size 16, so I'm gonna use like a brassy size wire. Uh, if you use UTC, um, it would be uh, Danville like a medium wire. If you use that kind of wire. Um, but I like using the amber color, it's a little bit darker. Um, and I also uh, I pick up uh, large spools of uh, uh, copper wire because I do burn it up. Um, and I just re spool it myself. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a length. I got my uh, wire on the bobbin. Take a length. Make sure I got a nice tag length. Make it easier on myself. And then just start my wire and wrap it right up the shank. Nice touch and turns to about uh, hook eyes or so. Leave yourself plenty of room. Then start your thread. The thread I'm using is uh, is uh, black. Uh, I forget the name of it. <laughs> But I'm gonna push, push up here, tighten those wraps up a little bit. I'm gonna catch it on. Uh, the thread name comes to me while I'm tying this. Um, I'll say it. Um, uh, Gordon Griffith's thread. That's uh, in black. I like it because uh, it doesn't cause a lot of bulk. Um, it's a pretty strong thread. Can uh, it's got a lot of wax on it. But catch that in with a bunch of wraps. Make sure you throw some wraps in front to. Tighten those uh, binding wraps down and just bend and break that off. Tighten up. Now you can put super glue on top of here so that the rib doesn't slip, but I find that if you actually wrap it tight enough, just bring it over and make sure you wrap it very tight. Just wrap tight, tight, tight. Just rip it right up. Come over, cross your thread nice and tight. Cross it again, yet again, nice and tight, yet again, nice and tight. And I like to put a bend in it, bring it down about two wraps. Bend, break them off, tidy up, bring the thread back. Now we're going to take one single strand of peacock roll. I like getting it from the eye. I don't want to. Crazy long uh, fibers of the peacock on here. So I'm going to bind this on, catch it in. Tie it up. Now, what I like to do is leave the thread right there. Take two turns. As I come up for my second turn, I bring the thread along with me and I go over and do the same thing again. Two turns, bring the thread up and over. Pull it back, let it break as you're tying it down on the way back. That's a very durable peacock collar. Done that way, and just go right into your whip. Make yourself a nice, neat head. Tighten your whip up. Nice and tight. And snip your thread. And you got yourself a, a fancy brassy pattern. That's the fly. Very simple, uh, fast, easy fly to tie. Uh, very durable fly to tie uh, to use. 
Uh, and it's certainly a well-proven fish catching pattern. Uh, I hope you like to tie and tie these up. Give the brassy a, a whole nother uh, try. If, uh, if you used to use them, try and use them again. They are uh, certainly effective and probably always will be. But I'm Johnny Utah. Check me out on my blog www.utahsflycorner.blogspot.com Thanks for watching.